Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Oregon Spring 17. How are we doing today folks? Uh, I am doing okay I think. I think. That's right I think folks. Anyway we have uh, got our workers going here. We got J Metal 797 and then up here we got a combine that stopped. Why you stop for? Okay, no answer. Oh, the stupid hill can't back up the hill. These are awesome combines, but the reverse on them is terrible. And we got our brother Colin Julian with Colin Julian vlogs um, go down below folks in the description you can check all these folks channels out and also you can see in field 15 we got Mr. Yankee what is Mr. Yankee doing uh, actually first we got to get our 9RT here I think we got 79,000 in that trailer up there and if y'all missed it at last episode, go and check it out, folks. Um, we started soybeans. Um, actually, we're quite a bit of episodes in uh, on harvesting. Um, but the last one, we started soybeans. And hopefully, this one will finish. Yeah, look, like Jay Metal turned around, no problem. Trying to keep these two separated, but they don't want to stay separated, folks. They're always getting right behind each other. But that's a good thing, as long as they keep going. I don't care how they do it. Just make me that money. Money, money, money. Sweet money. They're just about over that hill problem though, because they're right there pretty close to the top of it. Come on, empty out. There we go. There we go. Well, folks, today is going to be mostly about harvesting, so uh, if you don't like harvesting, you might want to change the channel. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, you, you can stay on this channel. Please stay on this channel. <laughs> oh, folks. Well, both of these are dump on the go. I thought I had one of them set to stop. But that's fine. I, I like them dumping on the go. It's more realistic in this area. Uh, machine these days can handle it. Back when I was driving that 8820 Type 2, it's all that boy could do. Or should I say, machine could do was handle dumping on the go. I mean, it just engaging the, the auger there was. Like trying to, uh, I, I don't know, folks. It was this rough on them. We didn't do it very much. It could be done, but it was one of those things. Was like, wow. <laughs> when you engaged it on the combine, it'd go like, wow. I can't believe he started me up. And then they just don't coughing. Best way to describe it, folks. I don't know. I'm just very frustrated today. Uh, not at y'all or anything. Um, my mom bought a car here probably um, a month and two weeks ago. And, uh, 
at first it was no problem it ran fine and everything um, then it started getting this issues of the battery running down and it went from battery running down to it running hot and I'm like you know what's going on here well couldn't find no problem so I thought it might be thermostat told the guy about it and stuff and well, we had issues with them with the battery but he finally resolved it and uh, this car running hot thing now uh, he told us in both had a roadside um, where it sounds we're going to have to pay for the record servers which he sent to us I could have got us towed over for pretty much free but uh I guess I might go back this way but anyway <clears throat> he went and supposedly fixed the car only thing I saw him done was put a temp sensor on it and uh, a radiator cap well drove it you know home and everything and mom went around in town and stuff and everything seemed to be working fine and all of a sudden bam started running hot again uh, come find out he never did put a thermostat gas uh, thermostat in it which is this little round thing that for those that don't know it's a round thing that goes in your heater hose somewhere it stops the water and lets it warm up oh please keep going please keep going okay good but anyway he did not replace that and I think that's why it's running hot um, I really would rather take a baseball bat loaded with nails uh, to my face and have to call this guy back up and say hey why is the car not fixed um, you know at first he was seemed like to be a pretty good guy and then all this happened and he's this ain't been the same since we bought the car and what can I say you know is this one of those things folks um, I'm probably just uh, over overwhelmed and stuff but uh, I, I don't know maybe I just need to drop it I think what I'm going to do is just fix it myself and forget about him but you know, you can buy a, a car, even a used car from a dealership or something. It, you should be able to go for a little while. You know, without having to do something to the car. But, anyway. Ooh, this guy's on our tail now. That's Mr. Yankee. He, he's going to town on that field. Um, just in case y'all are new, I uh, just recently purchased 13. We got it plowed. Um, 14, 15 is already plowed together. 13 is fixing to be. Got one little grass strip around there. And then that whole area will be one big field. So, uh, yeah. I'm on a wee make a circle here and go this way. I'm going to raise your wings up this a little and start spraying. Oh, come on, auto save. You picked the wrongest times. Alright, set my cruise. I'm gonna put this back on. 
uh, just so I can see our combine, what percentage they're on. Right there at the wing tip, 35 and 23 percent. Um, we'll get that field there finished. We got a field right over where to do, and then we got a big field that I re recently purchased a uh, couple of, about five episodes back, maybe. And that's going to be uh, field six. And it's pretty good size field two, folks. Uh oh. Jones made blocked. Alright. Oh. We're going to leave this guy here. Oh, okay. I took over control as I shut down. Uh, uh, Come on, get him away. There we go. All right. And we got Jennifer, Donna, and Colin Julia now. And let's see who's who. We got Donna and Colin Julia on the combines. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and empty these guys, guy and girl out, I should say. Bag of scoot over. And actually, folks, we get this, uh, Tomorrow we got rain. So, uh, yeah, I can't fast forward time uh, until we get uh, the harvest out. And uh, But uh, when we get the harvest out, we'll fast forward time. And we'll see that rain. I'm going to stand down there at our new uh, water facility that we got at the pig area. And uh, watch it fill up with water. I can't wait. I'm wanting to put one at the cows, but I'm kind of in the hole. Um, thought about selling this first load of beans and buying one. Um, but then again, I want to hold some beans till uh, whenever they're the highest. And speaking of highest. We, we do have a great demand. I forgot about that. It happened as soon as I logged in. And it's a uh, wool, I believe. I'll get back situated here. I always like checking my uh, gray box there before I dump. Just to make sure that I'll get uh, over that truck. Let's see. We'll look. Uh-oh. Mr. Yankee is done. Alright, while the combines are getting filled back up, let's just take a gander around here on this end and see what we got left to do. I think he's going to end up having all this plowed. Uh, blocked by, uh, oh, they're turning on the ends. Talking about the combines there, I looked up over and saw it said blocked by object. I'm like, who now? Alright, so we got some right down here we're going to have to get. Not too bad, though. I, I bet those trees wasn't there. He wouldn't have missed this because it seemed like right where a tree is at, pretty much. But 
but I'm going to try to stay as close to the edge as I can and I'm fixing to create field mode on now there you go you can see it uh, doing its job there and we're going to take out this green spot here and off okay let's go ahead and go around got some spots right here to look like yep will be small pieces here should took out some of that but we'll work on that later each time and a little spot there barely can see it And look like we are done. Cross this end. Let's just go ahead and fly around. Now we don't usually fly this fast, but I think I done got this in the last episode, but I'm gonna double check. This should show you our other bean field up here. And it's right there. Then after that we're going to uh, get rid of our combines because they're at least another green spot in the field there but we'll get that later as we come back up probably ain't nothing to it alright right here I was going to kind of Oval it a little bit here. All right. Uh, I'm gonna pick up right here and go ahead and turn around. Our combine's not moving. I can't see further right. <clears throat> oop, oop. Go ahead and get into the tractor. And see. I bet it's down there. I, I really do. That's all on this other end. Um, ah, come on through. That's what got us the last time. Just to give him some space. I'm going to go back this way. But yeah, folks. Uh, actually, I was up there. It says your sheep need grass. Okay. Look right between that. You see uh, two rains and right between the rains you'll see snow and then again on the last day the second day of winter you'll see another sm snow so those are pretty close together but I bet you that rain will take care of that one uh, I wish it would snow like two or three times in a row and see how thick you can actually get it All right, Let's start him back. Then we gotta go unload these. Um, who we got? Maxan and Colin. All right. Yeah, 
Yeah, I shut my AC and my ceiling fan off so I can record this so it'll be uh, more quieter in here. So the, you know, it won't be a roaring sound. And, uh, it is getting extremely hot. Uh, temperature on the wall over showing 80 degrees, folks. 80 degrees. And this is May. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, you would. Oh, well. You're down to zero percent anyway, so. But now I I had a, a cousin that was on a setup just like this, and he'd drive that sucker across the field so fast. He he never would break nothing, no. But he got the the job done. He would go catch. Uh, I think they had four combines in the field, and he'd catch three of those combines and, and be full before anybody else would. If it, uh, myself, I would drive, go this way, that way I can hear you better, or y'all can hear me better, I should say. But if I had my choice, I'd be a combine driver. Um, as long as you treat the machine right and everything's going right, you can sit on that thing all day long and not get off. Uh, except to go potty. All right. That should work out a little bit better. Um, I guess what I'll probably do now is time lapse the rest of this. Um, I know y'all probably like, why ain't you go dump those trucks yet, Mr. Blue? I'm actually waiting, folks. I'm want to get all three of them, or at least two of them loaded. That way, I'm used to follow me and uh, get them down there. And see F1. Okay, I'm clear to dump. I don't like the animation going like that. It scares me. It really does. But this is what you'd be looking at really in real life. Except the tractor wouldn't be jerking that bad. But you got those sight glasses back there to let you know how much you got left or how full you get, getting depending on which one you're doing. Alright. Fold this bad boy up. Let's see, we're 19 and 29. Uh, I don't know. I got, we got about six more minutes. I know they're not going to get it done in six minutes. If they do, it's going to be a miracle. But uh, anyway, let's go get our sprayer. Uh, let's finish this. No, no, let's go get our sprayer. Come on. Sprayer, here we go. This is a little bit more important. Um, because the plow's pretty much in ahead of us. That's it going to auto. Scoot over to about there. That looks about right. That. Put that back on. Uh, it's just, it's kind of like my iPad. Well, folks, what do y'all think about the new, uh, I believe China got these special glasses now? 
that uh, they're just like regular dark glasses but they get a little thing on the corner and it, it pops up a thing on the lens where I guess you can see it but you can access all kind of information just with your eye um, they're also using it for facial recognition over there uh, that would be kind of awesome in a way you know for for the police officer they can look and you know tell if you're a criminal pretty much within 30 seconds uh, that's awesome to me but also at the same time it's scary um, you know if I read it right or what I heard you know they know your whole life history but I don't know I guess it's scary because how they're doing it because if you ever had a speeding ticket or anything like that it counts against you which I ain't had no speeding uh well almost hit the fence I've had a speeding warning before but not no uh actual ticket they're yeah, almost done getting there a little small triangle um folks more I think about it on this field here I would like to buy it and just take the fence down and turn it into farmland since it's way up here by itself but it is close to the cell point, so it would make a good grass field. Alright, I got that pretty much done. Just waiting on the combines, really. Uh, if I wasn't driving the combine, I'd be driving one of these. And I wish uh, there's a, a modder or somebody out there that would watch my stuff that would actually put the sprayer add-on on this machine right here. And this machine is the Rogator. Um, can't see a number. What is that? Rogator 1300. And uh, I would love to see your sprayer add on on this. That'd be so awesome. All right, our guys are almost full again. I'm gonna try to make it to the end. There's 176 and 164. I don't know which one's got the most, but uh, we're gonna let this episode go till they get done. And to see how much exactly how many beans we got out of this whole field. Because I ain't sold none. Uh, that one truck is everything. Everything in this field is in those two trucks. Except for the two through. The throughs they made on the other field there. Alright. I'm going to turn around and we'll go check on our combines. This one's Maxine. And she's the one that's the fullest. Alright, we're going to stop right there. Come on. We can do it, Maxine. Okay. I'll let Colin finish that. We're going to go dump this combine. We're going to get it ready to get started in the other field. I uh, may go ahead and start her in the other field. Uh, just to get rolling. Alright. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah, he don't like much. But folks, while we're doing this, I just want to say thank you for all your love, support, kindness, comments, all all of it, folks. Y'all are amazingly awesome. Hey, I said two pretty good big words together. I'm proud of myself. But I'm more proud of y'all, folks. Keep the comments coming. I love each and every one of them. I'm sorry I'm getting behind on some of them. But I am watching the videos. I'm just kind of stressed out between making videos, two kids, and a uh, fire department. Got a few medical calls that's been coming up. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good, I think. All right, we're going to start Maxan right here. Maybe it'll still be Maxan. Nope, we got Junior in the house. All right. All right, Junior, to get your calculations. There you go. All right. Now we get Colin unloaded. Um, that'll be it, folks. Um. Well, like I said, I still want to show y'all how much is left. So we'll get this calling unloaded. And then we'll uh, go dump this. See how much is actually. I know the first truck's full. Probably fill the second truck up. And uh, I'm going to take them to the, the our farm silo. Um, all screen get them dumped and probably take those two trucks up to field six and park them and uh in our next episode we'll finish up what they'll have left here and then uh go to field six so yeah and what i'm doing here is just kind of Taking off some of this corner here. Uh, let's see, back this way. We'll go dump this. And, uh, like I said, uh, I love each and every one of y'all folks. Y'all mean so much to me. Um, but I have been getting behind on some of the videos of y'all's, but I will be watching them. Um, I got a little process I go through. All right, card or dump. Let's hop out while that's unloading. See, if, all right, this is a hundred thousand here. We'll get it tarped, and we're at fifty-four thousand. Can we get 60? I don't think that this this truck ain't going to get filled up. Nope. You're starting to see the bottom of the auger wagon. So we got 170. Can we reach 70? No. We got 166,423. 166,423 off of that field. And just crossed in right there. So, uh. All right, folks, this is a game plan. Uh, since this truck didn't get full, I'm gonna go ahead and do some off screen. I may even finish this field. And, uh, a chicken has been born. Yay! So, I'll probably finish this field off screen. And, uh, I will see y'all in the next episode of Oregon Springs, folks. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. I'll see y'all later.